Oh, and shout out to AE Designs for painting some of the figures. And painting the rest of them. I guess after this weekend, I'll send some of the unpainted ones with you. Yeah. Uh, well, you might as well. Oh, yeah. Cause not right now because they're not going to be back until like next week. So she's on vacation or something. All right. We are. We're back. We're back with Death House. All right. We are on the last push of Death House, the prologue to Curse of Stroud. We're at the epilogue of the prologue. <laughs> of, the, of the prelogue. It's pretty cool. Of the pre cup. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I'm about to pre so hard. Yeah. Dude. Once again, if Markiplier can say goddamn fuck nuggets, <laughs> I can say pre cup. Okay, we ready? So, you are riding on his back. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So from now on, if we get into battle at this point, just turn around and walk, and walk backwards. And y'all are at the portcullis uh, that is closed currently. That's just a gate there. It's an iron gate, pretty much. Okay. Um, Can we open from it? his back. No, you cannot attempt to lift it. You have to get off my back to yeah. attempt to lift it. Get off his back. I'm gonna get off his back and attempt to lift it. Okay. Roll a strength check. Uh, stand by. Yeah, it's an athletics check. <coughs> I wish it was acrobatics. <coughs> and 23. Yeah, I'm 23. Not you reach down and you grab the bottom of this pork loose. And it is heavy. But for you, it's slightly easy to, to lift up. And you lift it up in place to where everybody can fit under. Hurry up! It's, it's not very close. Oh, okay. I was going to say. He only lifted it to where we 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 literally I our heads are like here. You realize I lifted it probably to where it's four feet off the ground. Before you enter, you dust. can hear the the hum. You can feel the vibrations of this chanting that was behind this door. We would have to crawl to get the rail. Um, no, it's like you're what? How tall is your character? Six three. Yeah, you just got my thoughts. Um, before you went into this room, this chanting was. It was loud. Right. Uh, you could feel it in your chest. Um, as you enter uh, this chamber, the Stay chamber the stops. Chest. My little ass. Pulls muffin cat back blue. I want to just run in and go, hi guys. All hi. chanting has stopped. The room is silent besides the drip. So we're now in the room? Uh, you're right inside. Oh, you haven't quite entered it yet. Uh, so I have uh, a description of the room. Start. Describing. Well, I mean, I want to put this down so I can get back up on the back. You can let it go. It stays up. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if I let it go if it would come down. No, you said it would stay up. Description. The chanting stops as you peer into this 40-foot square room. The smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling, and a breach in the west wall leads to a dark cave heaped with Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to the dry stone ledges that, hung, that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and stained with dry blood. They really like Stand by. Uh, a little more detail. The water is two feet deep. Okay. All over? Yeah. Yes. Not fair. The ledges and central dais are five feet high, three feet higher than the water surface. And the chamber ceiling is 16 feet high, 11 feet above the dais and ledges. The chains dangling from the ceiling are eight feet long. You feel that the cultists would shackle prisoners to the change, dangle them above the altar, cut them open with knives, and allow the altar to be bathed in blood. Half embedded in the east wall is a wooden wheel connected to hidden chains and mechanisms. A 
hole in the west wall leads to a naturally formed alcove that's going to be straight across from the dais and altar. Or I'll go ahead and get off of the back end. Or anything. Or I'd like to sneak into the room, back out, to see if there's anybody in there. Can this guy there's people in there because we hear the chanting coming from the room. But what's going on in there? Because we're just here, right? No, we're the, like right there. You're, you're right at the entrance. You had to lift the portal. Okay. Okay. So we're all okay. sharing so we this can one. See. Never mind. Okay. So what's going on? Is there people? There was chanting, so. Yes, you can see. Chanting required. Besides the big pile of refuse and uh, the altar with dried blood and the chains, the room is empty. Yes, yes. I know that I am the first one to ride the chin and start touching things. But, hear me out. Hear me out. It's okay, I'll do it for you. What if we don't and we just go for that? Uh, this? Yeah. A pile of refuse? I thought this was an alcove. Leading with a pile of refuse. Yeah, it's with that. It's a big pile of garbage. Oh, okay. Like blocking it? It's an alcove. It's just a little oh. area that's. So that's where all the garbage is at. Okay, so we're there. going to the altar. So it's just enclosed. Yes. Okay. And then there's a big pile of refuge. Refuse in the Okay. All right, let's get um, on this altar. Hang on. I I step five feet into the room. Okay. I am going to go to a slightly higher elevation and go up here. Okay. Does that put me on eye level with the altar, or is the altar still higher up? You you would be on the same height as the okay. dais. Okay. But the altar would be like however tall you are. I mean, it's an altar. Okay. Um. Talk it through. You got time. This is the last chamber of Death House. Well, this thing is pulling out my short bow, but I'm still too close. So, uh, I'm gonna go up to the altar then. You walk up to the altar, or like up here? Okay, so you're walking up yeah. to the altar. Yeah. Okay, walk up to the altar. Yeah. As you approach the altar. The chanting rises once more as 13 dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. So they're up there by you. <laughs> 13 of them? 13. Where else have we heard that? <laughs> the... <laughs> oh, who has something of the 13? Ah! Just ask them. I don't know if that's good or bad. Each one resembles a black robed figure holding a torch. But the torch's fire is black and seems to draw light into it. Mm. Or it's like creating a dark void around it. Where you would expect to see faces or voids. Uh -huh. One must die, they chant over and over. <laughs> One volunteer. must die. I volunteer that One guy. must die. Somebody get up here so I can sacrifice you with this shitty bone knife. This is. This is death, death. There's death. a. I'm gonna let you know. There's rules in this room. And if you don't follow these rules. Garrett, and I highly doubt it's gonna be like the children where we can just scare them away. Garrett, we've been through a lot, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, can I sacrifice you? No, I'm gonna sacrifice you. Everybody roll a religion or an insight check. Your choice. That's under skill, bro. Right? Yes. yes. Religion or insight? I'm rolling, I'm rolling religion. I got a seven. Because this is a crap roll. Eighteen. Twenty. Okay, natural or twenty? Twenty. Doesn't uh, matter on how oh, another. Well, I guess a little miss. Okay. Um, I got eighteen. You two discern, you've, you've figured it out of what needs to happen. <coughs> One must die. Um, <laughs> You ascertain that someone has to die on the altar. 
Okay. To count as a sacrifice, a creature must die on the altar. The apparitions don't care what kind of creature is sacrificed, and they aren't fooled by illusions. Can somebody conjure up a creature? Like, pull one out of their ass right this minute? A rat? Is there any rats? I investigate for rats. There is not gar any rats. How about... Yeah. We sacrifice Rabbit's character. He's not cute. Can we sacrifice Teeth's character? <laughs> Can we sacrifice Teeth? So, I told you, there's rules in this room. Yeah. What can you do with rules? Bend them. Or break them. them. Follow or break them. them. But what happens if you break rules? Usually, there's really bad consequences. Shit. Consequences. So, Kill something or someone on this altar, yeah. or you can break the rules. Let's think about this one way or another. There is going to be outcomes, and there's a couple of different outcomes. Can we investigate trash? Think of it this way: this is like those RPGs that have multiple endings. <laughs> uh, oh God! So there I haven't figured out what one of those endings are. It's not really. I know. Endings. I know off the top of my head, there are three endings. There's one. We all die. There is two. One person dies and two people leave. Or there's Remember, three. you're yelling this from the altar over the chanting of one must die. Yes. And the, what, the chant of one must die is continuing. Okay. <laughs> or three, we all somehow get out of this lot. Let's look at this logically. <laughs> you're also yelling back. <laughs> Who is the weakest one of us? <laughs> oh my god! The bargaining of life begins. <laughs> if you I, on, I rolled to intimidate him to get on the altar so I can sacrifice him. It's going to be a persuasion. Sure, persuasion. You're persuading his character to give up his life for the good of the group. Yeah, you're going to fail miserably at this. Um, you're going to get a plus five against his role because this is life or death decision. He does not have domination. Does that also include my modifier yes. for this? Uh, so whatever you roll. I'm fucked unless I roll a net 20. <laughs> whatever you roll as your modifier, plus 5. Because this is a decision. You don't control him. Yeah. You, don't, you haven't dominated him. Yeah. So what I'm trying you, to talk him into this it. This is persuasion, much. right? I'm yes. trying to talk you into it. I'm not like. Get on the altar. It's persuasion like, hey, against can, persuasion. Can you Actually, no. You're rolling a survival. Survival? Yes. This is this is you. <clears throat> okay. I heard a car door slam. Make sure it wasn't me just being yeah. <laughs> loud and obnoxious. So I've looked at this many times. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is this in for? It looks like a fucking horse, I think. Yeah, like a horse. Like yeah, it is okay. a horse. It's a stone. Mm. What's happening? People next door. No. Remember, you don't have to kill anybody on this altar. Yeah, I walk true. over to the altar and climb up on it. Uh, can I do this before he attempts to try his persuasion? Could, yes, because uh, he, you would be yelling at yeah. him from a distance. Yeah. So you're going to carry your voice is going to carry more than you would get yeah. up there in time. Yeah. Okay. I would like to investigate the garbage back here. You see, You're not gonna have time. I'm not gonna have time. By the time he gets up to the altar, you wouldn't have made it over there. I mean, you... I'm I'm racking my brain. I'll, I'll okay. I'll I'll give you all this much info. Somebody, if you want to do it the way the cult wants it, one of you has to die. Yeah. When I'm talking yeah. zero hit points. Beyond your fucking Dark. your max hit points. Yeah. Talking yeah. Dead, your dead. character is dead, dead. So there it is no zero. It cannot be a zero. You will die. Do we want to gamble for who dies? Hold on. What the fuck is that? I know. I know where your brain was going. It doesn't have to be one of us. And I should have let it happen, happen and then let the chant continue. Oh, I was also thinking about doing the noble thing. Let's just say, are you a noble character? Okay, I'm good. That's not a noble thing. Okay. You'd be finding a way to sacrifice somebody 
but convincing them that it's the best thing for for everyone. See, that's kind of what I'm. I'm still walking over the altar to climb up on it. Okay. He's starting to move. Okay. Yes. So let's say he gets 15 feet, and you can make whatever move or say whatever you want. Okay. There's no other living life forms in this in this place. There's just ghosts and us. Right. Now, which is why the weakest among us. Oh, one more caveat. The person that started the chant by climbing up onto the dice has to be the one to kill someone. <laughs> Okay, this is not. I don't like that when it's in this creepy room. That's good. Or someone's knocking at your door. Yeah, I heard it. That's good. You know why? Because this is a horror being. Really? Just read that. He, he told me to. They're holding their uh, finger over the thing. Yeah, they're holding their finger over the thing. You almost had a shot. You really did. How? Oh, oh, he showed up. One must die. <laughs> One must <laughs> die. We Look, gotta sacrifice. We gotta you sacrifice. You legitimately got shot. Yes. We are creeped out. You haven't returned a text message. Dude, they're creeped out based on this story. Yes. We're okay. I want an altar. We have thirteen ghosts chanting "One must die" at no, the no, top, top of the echoing this giant freaky room. <laughs> We gotta get yeah. we gotta get Keats up to level three. What does it matter? We're sacrificing him. That's Are we? Keats. Are we sacrificing oh, wait. him? He has to kill the person, right? I have to kill. He the person. has to kill the person. God damn the person. He wouldn't be able to hit me. One must die. Right. So what I was gonna do? I was gonna climb on top of the altar and then kill you. <laughs> I have to be the one. Yeah, die. then it wouldn't work because he has to. Kill He's him. the one who initiated the ghost. So then, if that's the case, I love this because, because I'm also the one who denied. What is your alignment? He's uh, chaotic good. Chaotic good. What's your alignment? Um, neutral? Look, 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 look. Beyond, Lawful neutral. Beyond all of this, if you go up there and you kill someone without saying anything, or you just murder someone, your alignment's going to change. I'm going to tell you now. You're going to become evil. Okay. Because you're killing somebody without giving them the option. Okay. You made a chaotic choice. I am chaotic. It's not a good choice to just kill someone. I'm keeping the the rest noblest of the party thing alive. to do is to be, keep everybody alive the best you can. I'm the what okay, is it, chaotic wait. neutral or whatever. I think I'm the chaotic neutral. Where is that? We can before we move on. Keats has to level up. We have to get Keats in the game. Yeah, where, you have to pick the character out uh, as your I have features. A character. Actually, if your little character thing is not under features. What are you playing as? The fighter? Uh, yeah, the fighter. There's fighters in there. Well, no, it's not Look, I'm going to break it down real easy for y'all. Okay? You're in the talk. I'm going to spit real shit right now. Hey, guys, shut up. He's talking. You can either refuse to do this, or you can help or pick somebody to die. I tried. And then I did everybody started. That's the only two ways out of this. This is what? You either refuse okay. and accept the consequences, or you do it. And accept the consequences. Because it's not in the book, but I if you decide to kill somebody on that altar, I have consequences for you. Really? It's not a choice. You've been traveling with them through this whole house this entire yeah. time. Yeah. Even if you weren't here for the first part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. These are your We've adventures. Been a lot. Yeah. You have come together as a group. If this was the very beginning you killed someone, I'd let it slide. But y'all have been through so much together. Yeah. That's that true. if you kill somebody up there, you'll appease these ghosts, possibly. Possibly. But you, as your character, as a person, are going to have consequences. That would fuck with my psyche. It would fuck with everybody else's psyche to kill someone. Am I, can we move that way? Other way. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. It's I, not in the book. This is something that I, as a DM, is in our... our this is what makes it interesting yeah. for me. Yeah. Because now it's more of a little. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I get it. So. And it has to be you. <laughs> so, Battle Buddies. I love, I love that it has to be me because I, I initiated it. And I have the only thing that we took. No, you can, kill, you can kill anybody up there with anything. I know, but I, I just happen to be the one that took something from that room. So. so, so 
you can defy these people and accept the consequences as a group, or you can be the one to draw the blood. And I can't ask what the consequences of either way is. It, I just have to cheat. You can attempt to ask. I, okay, I tend to ask uh, what the consequences super are guy is of me killing one of my companions, even if they, even if they willingly. Yeah, roll investigation. Like so we actually yeah. have wings. You can fly like thirty feet. You can't super glue that on this one. Uh, what's my... That goes to our investigation. Yeah, it was, uh, it was my investigation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyone want to move it? I can hold it up. Investigation. I'm pulling it up. I need a monster right there. Because I have a tank link. Yeah, the, the little character does. 20. 20? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. One must die! One must die! Hey. We'll go out together. I'm not going out. <laughs> no, I'm killing you. We're, we're gonna kill all the what you call them. We're just gonna straight defy them. Yep. We're gonna defy thirteen dark voided spirits holding void torches and void faces. <laughs> Before you do that, let me get, get up there with okay. you guys. It's just something. And let me let Keats come and join us. I used to use a fucking uh, pull tab from a coke. Okay. That was my character in Afghanistan. All right, okay. hold on. Before we're anything happens, we're going to freeze, let him get to level three, and out of game, we are going to communicate what the fuck we're thinking. All right, Keats. Okay. You already set up. We just have to level you up. All right. Um, and then we have to, we have to get you logged in on the phone. We're going to take the phone. Where's the cool people at? We don't even know what they are. Yeah, y'all yeah, can talk it out. We got we got fucked up Hold by on. four goblins. Oh, like nothing else. Yeah. Uh, but we also we're gonna have to talk to people with without the login. There was no app. Who tried to jump in a pit? That that everybody that walked around. Okay, it's a different campaign. Okay, maybe maybe Keith doesn't want to give up his life. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, I not did. immediately. No, I was, I was. I was. He was saying we let's take one. We've got one extra person. And I was. Say, like, yeah, one extra like, person. We got fucked up by a door. I got, a fucked up, I got fucked up by a broom. That was at level one. We got fucked up by three goblins. And they were goblins. Or, oh, sorry. They were. It was two ghasts. No. Then it was four ghouls. Four ghouls. That's that was four ghouls. Alice, you got a sneak attack, right? Yeah. You're at an advantage. Uh, what? There's nothing around us. They're you all. Mean, you could stab you, one you of us. All climbed up on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're all oh, guys. Guys. Okay. You can easily stab. What do we do? Back to back. We need to do a massive shit. Bring it, bitches. To the person beside you who has. Right. Can I import a revolver? <laughs> <laughs> in there? I'm I'm gonna... One shot. No. One shot. He's he's up there now. This yeah. is gonna. I'm telling you, you have choices. You have two choices. Only two. Am There's I not just a third am, option somewhere? Am I just meeting up for this party now? No, no you've, you've been, been here the whole time. You've been with us for like the three weeks we've spent in this. Yes, I'm in a four-story house. <laughs> We're on so, a like, sub-basement three. Right so now. I am so like freaked right now. I am sweating. Are you? Yes. yes. You know what was fucking awesome, Micah? Micah. You were an awesome DM, thank you. What's awesome is that y'all actually got paranoid just based off the fucking description of what was going yeah. on. That, as a DM, <laughs> that makes me feel so good. What's your with the lights? This is, I won't be able to see shit! We're also live streaming. Yeah, we are live, we're live streaming. Yeah. Yeah. We're live streaming. Dude, nobody's Keats, on there. You're, you're, you're gonna have to. Keats, no, you, you almost got shot. Yeah, you knocked at the worst time. Griff freaked out, and you had your finger over the thing. I did it to all my friends. Oh yeah, that weird. that was. I was like. After he said that, he was like, "Grab your gun." I was like, "Oh shit." I figured there's a fifty-fifty chance you guys would wait before you open the door. And in like not even two minutes, God, we somebody was slamming doors out there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Like we mean slamming doors. Like, like enough to set Griff off. Yeah, yeah. Somebody slammed the car door. You think really this hard. is a tough decision? I read the entire Curse of Stroud book. This is only the fucking beginning. Okay. This is the beginning to the beginning. Okay. Let's do it like this. Let's. I will flip a coin. Keats gets a say. How do I do this? This. Right, this is this. just my idea. First level two. Y'all, here, come here. I'll love you up. Uh, this is my idea, and y'all can tell me. All right. So what you want to level up in the future? Oh, actually. Okay. Um, click on your name. D6 and divide by two. I'm, I'm gonna do it all right One, here. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six. Level. No, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, Why don't we wait till we see what his end results are? Okay, you'll get this screen here. Hang on. 
I will roll. Come over and hit this. These you go up to your next level when I say so. Inner lower. Yeah. We sacrifice. Can I level somebody. three? When you level up, fire, we fight it out. Everything that's melted in the blue. Okay. okay. He's Here's your new Sorry. shit. No, he's good. This is everything that's changed. Everything that's gained. Okay. Ready? That's highlighted in blue. So when you click Don't on you it, sacrifice me. We're not, we're deciding on what we want to do. Sacrifice so now you get to choose what? an archetype. Okay. <laughs> Um, Wait, was that the sacrifice one? No, 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 you said one to ten was the sacrifice of love. Roll again, roll again. Badass is ten or lower is sacrifice. Eleven or higher is five. One d ten damage and Eldritch Blast is awesome. We got this. Is that if you miss a match, it's magical. Imagine for a brand new character, it's very difficult. Okay, I have a bonus action. I can cast a spell it's a battle to do master. damage, and if uh, you go down, battle master. bonus action, I can bring so, it back. So, at third level, when you get battle master, master. Now, you choose an archetype, uh, and you want just all range. Huh? Ranged weapons. We don't have any. You have a bow. Dude, I have... We have spells. I have Eldritch Blast, which is good up to 300 feet. No, I get that. I get that. that. But I'm saying, uh, dude, I'll try to do a quick breakdown. I'm going to get you guys straight up because shit has just gotten fun serious. I think, can we smash the I think we need. Mike, come over here. This is normal. Yeah. Dude, all my spells are wrong. I think we should say we want to roll initiative. Oh, uh, uh, martial arts. Yes. Okay, okay, so is the arcane archer. Right. So you're going to yeah. be more. You're going to be using like. Think about how it's going Big straight magic. The arcane archer would be walking right. the badass. Let's stick it right. All right. Uh, that basically is the breakdown for that, right? Uh, Battle Master, uh, you, you learn like three special time maneuvers. Time. So you, you get super no, superiority dice, up, you're like, you're which are, you'll get, uh, you start with four superiority dice, which are D8, and you expend them whenever you want to use a maneuver. Okay? You regain them all when you finish short. Oh, so good. you start with four, you like use them up as you continue on, and then you finish short or long, long range, you get them all back. All right. Um, so the maneuvers. You uh, I persuade you. These are the maneuvers that you can choose. Right? Persuade, persuade. All right. So you, you have a choice of all of these. It seems a little bit too. What's your deal now? Okay, so you want to keep it simple. Bro, is it like there's no camera? Awesome. Uh, Brute. I'm not seeing him. Well, I have to make sure that he has this one. He doesn't have Brute. That's it. Um, so the next one's Cavalier. That's going to be. Cavalier's going to be difficult too. Because that's one that uses like that. Champion? Champion, is that? Uh, champion, champion is that? Uh, champion is that? might be your best choice. Okay. Uh, your will change. Yeah. So, you champion, like, yeah, you're uh, a, uh, your weapon attacks or critical no, hit. No, whoever sacrifices the first one. The alignment will change the critical hit rate. I think you should do double damage. Yeah, because I've been with the At level 7, you'll get more of an You can add half your proficiency bonus, which will round up. With the altitude strength, you can still sacrifice somebody that's going to change him. So, you get to add. Yeah. More to the more proficiency bonus, bonus. Have your proficiency bonus to <laughs> strength next. But I'm already like, awesome. what is it, Keanu? Neutral, I think? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get an additional what fighting style, style at level 10. Uh, which is, remember the previous choice we had? Yeah. Of those fighting styles? Yeah. Defense, like a jewelry. Alignment. Oh, it does make it three. Oh, because you never put it in. No, yeah. this is at, at 10th right. level. You'll get another oh, fighting yeah. style. So you have fighting styles? And then you have your fighting archetype. Well, your archetype is what the fighting archetype is. Neutral, I guess? I think so. Uh, uh, okay, you click on the yeah. three bars, go to my characters. Three characters, my characters. The accent. Hold up. Just two seconds. Real quick, do you remember, didn't I choose chaotic neutral from my alignment? Because it's blank on the uh, vision. I think. Uh, because you're like, I, think we are, I do think our group. I say that for every group, right? Yeah. I, I, I don't remember what I chose. There we go. Okay. So, so at 10th level, you yeah. have one of those fighting styles. Like, remember how you chose the defensive? <laughs> yeah. How you pick up the one with two of the fighting styles? Yeah. You can do that at 10th level. Uh, at 15th level, you would you get superior wrong. critical. So instead of being 19 to 20, it would be 18. 18 to 20. Which Awesome. Yeah, but, never, but that's, still have to deal with that. That's the end result. Only is 20, right? So that's a natural 20. 
So yeah, unless we can somehow go through the castle and find yeah, that, that, that would give me a crit. <laughs> yeah. For you your, to roll the oh, 19 or 18. It's an automatic critical. You don't have to add okay. your what the pluses on those. Yes, but thing? your pluses won't matter because your critical no, range is 18 to 20. If you no. crit, your pluses don't matter. No, I mean, like, you've got to my pluses, if I get 15, I don't plus that count. No, 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 no. It has to be a natural no, no, no. 18, 19, or 20. What? At 15 plus. There's right? got to be some. At third level, which you're at now, it'll yeah, only be 19. Can we bring the cult leader This is going to be the easiest one. We don't have one for you, right? This is going to be a straightforward. We should don't know. We should be awkward. Okay. Yeah. See, you get the Elder Knight. Now you have some drag. Yeah. Uh, you get some sweet spells, but there's the Monster Hunter that doesn't count for anything. And the Purple Dragon Knight. Purple Dragon Knight. And the Samurai. The Samurai is pretty sweet too, but it's a little more confusing. It's more of a uh, defensive posture type class. Um, there was but one we'll go back to you. We're going to add champions. They are okay. with the sphere. So, as simple as it is, yes. we'll go over. Uh, all your stats stay the same. We'll go to your main wow. page. I think there were spirits. Yeah. So, uh, the action screen on that, <coughs> which you hit this, the nine dots down there, right. we can do this. If you go to actions, this tells you everything you can do as far as during combat. Okay. And that doesn't work. So when you attack with your lance, it would be a conjuration. You're gonna roll a d20. I guess it would be. And then you're at five to it because that's your two hit. Okay. It'll make a lot more sense when you actually do it in person. Yeah. And sit down. But you have your superiority dice, right? So that's what you can spin those, and it tells you what it can do. Yeah, if you go to uh, go to bonus actions, there's your second win. That's that thing I told you about where if you roll a d10, you can get, as a bonus action, you can roll a d10 plus three and gain those hit points back like that. So I can gain a max of 15. Oh, okay. Correct, but you can't go over your max. Yeah. Um, other, yeah, I can conjure. There's your action surge. That's where you can do that second action. Okay. Um, you can only use it once right now. Yeah, how do I adjust my health on my track? So you would have to go, if you go... We were seeing somebody else do that. So. Yeah. So, push that thing. Um, go to... Um, so this, this right here is your main screen, right? It shows all your senses. This is your saving throws. This is all your stats. Yeah. Okay. Um, Come back down here. Um, I'm just going over through this real quick. When we do a skill check, if I tell you make a deception or uh, athletics check, this is the page you come to. This shows all your skills with all your bonuses to those skills. Where's the number besides the right here? Oh, that's just so when you roll a d20 for the check, oh, okay. whatever skill it is, you just add that. Unless you do something, Gary. Does that make yeah, sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So for your health, okay. once you 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 are, right now you're sitting at 28 health points. All right, pretty great. Um, your hit die is a D8. I remember. Okay. We're almost done, guys. That's fine. We're racking brains. I have a question. Hold on. You gotta raise your hand. He said it's racist. No, he said that's racist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's racist. It's racist to raise your hand. I'm being racist against the fellow white man. Just now. Racist or racist? racist. I, just I think it's a D8. It may be a D10. Uh, fighter, it's a D10. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to take a D10. All right. Yes, you're going to do this now. You're going to take that D10 and you're going to roll it. Okay, that's a nine plus your con, which your con modifier is sprout, like a sprout of a plant. Yeah, it's a plant reference. Con equals constitution, so it's plus two, so it's eleven points. What did you have before? Your no, your health points before. Oh, twenty. Yeah. So you're actually going to go up. Okay. Um, so it's, so the way I do help is that you can take the minimal, which is what he says, eight, is the minimal that they're giving you. 
you rolled more than a minimum, so I'm going to give you what you rolled more. So instead of 28, you're actually going to have 31. They, they laid it on her at James at the end of it, where yeah, he said that started, and the other end of it was here. Yes, the Great American Challenge. Fit it all in there, and it's like really floppy. So you know it like made all of and they stepped up her foot. Override your max? Not in there. We were at 31 yeah. hit points. Okay. She took it all! Okay. And then pooped it right back out. This is your character, man. This all is right. you. This is you in the game. And then a set of dice. So we got uh, fucking. We have more bad, more dice. Four hundred, I think. Okay, what's your question? So they're saying some body. One, one must die. die. One must die. So I have one has to be a physical being. Yes. You learn uh, that based on your ability. So yes. like this. It has to physically then, exist. So it can't be a spirit. No. You can't. Or, yeah. Because the spirit is already dead. Yes. It has to be a blood sacrifice. You don't need a D10, right? You need a D12. You need a D12. It could be any person or any creature. You ain't got no creatures. You ain't got no body. Yeah. Yeah, that's a D12. How many do I need? You don't really need. I need a triangle. I like how hard y'all are. So you need the six. If it were me. You got that. You would already sacrifice somebody. No. I would have said, a ten. fuck you. I'm trying to get a four. That's me, though. That's the triangle. Yeah, that's the so if I just feel a sneak or just like yeah. a quick attack, that's, that's suspecting. All your are going to do that, and we don't have the four. You need to do it. Those are the cases. Now they start rolling back. Attack close. Cultists swap them out. I mean, you can attempt to do it. You can attempt to do anything in this game. I attempt to scare the ghost away with the Ghostbusters theme song. Fuck Negative, man. because you wouldn't know the Ghostbusters theme song. Different reality. You, you can, can attempt to scare them, though. You can attempt to intimidate them to go away. Can I start just shouting demonic at them? Can you speak yes, demonic? but that's not going to do anything. Yes. Uh, can, can we get some figures where all the cultists are? 13 of them. Do you have 13 of the same figure somewhere? You've got more you than 13 figures, though. Okay. We'll use the kobolds again since they're just. We got kobolds and hang goblins out there. They've been fucking brutalized this entire fucking day. <laughs> Guys, remember the campaign we did where we had both kobolds and goblins that we got to fight? Yes. And we used the right figures? Yes. Hey, I, love, I still love the campaign the other day where he got the goblins to fight one another. What? Hey, Micah. I'm allowed to fly back to the 30 feet. Does that mean if I fly 15 feet in the air, but this stay there? Yeah, you're flying. Yeah. Okay, so if, I, if I'm hovering, can enemies still attack me? Yeah, if they have range. range. Can, now, can I hover at 10 feet just out of reach of somebody and still attack them with my lance? Yes, but who's to say that you're out of reach? Yeah. yeah. If they have range. No, if they don't have range. Oh, if you're out of range, you're out of range. Oh, but they yeah. can throw any weapon at you. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just like, like, look, getting a sense for boundaries. Like, right? Flying is great. Yeah. But if you fall, if you're hit and you fall, you now you're going to take fall damage. Look, there's even a chart for gnome throw. For gnome. There's a chart for gnome. I love how that's like your go to like, fact. <laughs> I, I tried you know you want that. Oh, well, I tried jumping over a hole. Yeah, we haven't had any stupid occurrences like that lately. Like, please. Right now, hey, hey this right is just focus. Okay, Keats, yeah. you know when there's like. I thought you said you had a bunch of goblins. Yeah, they're in the monster room with the kobolds. They're painted. So, guys, look at that one. Oh, in, in the center. <coughs> Hi, fucker, fat. Fucker? Your butt was fucker. Right. Oh, I was like, gonna use one of the mounds. Okay. So pretty, pretty much. At this point, when they created a whole bunch of stress in my life. I'm not even sure why. So, I'm stressed out. So at this point, one must die. Either one, one is dying, and the other character is going fucking insane. But hey, me, quick that question. Kills them. Yeah. They keep ch chanting one must die, but that doesn't necessarily mean one of us. Right. We, no, we just we've established living. Let's it's, find a way to kill one of them. They're not living. Yeah, they're, they're not, not exactly living. living. 
they're all spirits, so we can't kill And we'd them. have to kill them on the altar. Yes. Can and we... not only that, he has to kill them on the altar. Can we make an effigy of a one and burn it? No. Um, just put these two somewhere. Along the outside. That's in the water. Yeah, right there on the step. That's <laughs> gonna look you in the eye. You're gonna lick him in the eye? Look him in the eye. You'll say, keep me up. And then I'm gonna turn around and cast attempt to cast Sacred Flame. Okay. Go ahead. And attempt uh, to cast Sacred Flame. And he's making a deck save of uh, 11. I would. Of what? 11. Deck save. Right. Give me just a second, because I did not expect you to attack. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a really quick. I'm sacrificing one of these motherfuckers, and I don't give a shit. We're sacrificing him because he attacks. No, he doesn't. Just keep me up. <laughs> because I can bring everyone else back. Yeah, but it's not hard to keep you up. We can't wait, wait, tell him, hey, wait, you can revive somebody? Yeah. Then yeah. why are we debating on who we I can't, I can't revive who does that. It does. Yeah, if, if you're on the ground with zero hit points, he can revive you. I have a cantrip that I can just use whenever. <coughs> well, as a bonus action, to bring you back up. Okay. What'd you cast? Second point. Alright. You cast second point. Right there. Jesus. One must die! One must die! We'll turn back to you. <laughs> Alright, let's think. By the way, they're still. I've laid it out for you. You have two choices. I know. There, there are four of us. We have a D4. You have a D4? I'm just saying. One, Holy fuck! Two, three, four. Seriously? Okay. But I, I, I'm liking this, but I'm also fucking completely baffled. <laughs> are the children still alive? Let's just refuse them. The, chil the children are dead. I tried. They just fell through them. No, let's no just refuse them. This. That happened before I was here. The, your character was here the whole time. Okay. All the children are dead. For I was here. Right. All of the children are Static. dead. There's two children. Asked, they died that a long time ago. Hey, quick question. They, they're just gonna keep repeating that no matter what I say to them, correct? Correct. Quick right. question. Can we just can we just sit down and do nothing? Yes, there is. We can. Okay. That's also going to the trouble. I I yell and ask them what happens if I refuse. One must die. One yeah. must die. Wait, oh, yeah, I want to ask a question of the Where's the dice box? What? The dice box. You want to ask a question? Are you just yelling out to the ether? Which one? Where's the give me the dice box? I'm asking the spirits, which one? They know. They, they, they are aware one. of the situation. Just one. And no, I have no, to kill. Just I was asking them which one? One must die. It's not gonna work the way you Yeah. No, Their trolling's gonna fail in this situation. No, what can I call? I'm asking them to see if they want to pick for it. No, they don't care. Like, oh, the time to get right. Oh, God. This is delving down. Wow. The fact that it has come to this. One, two, three, four. Sacrificing of one of the characters. This is actually interesting. See, my dilemma is I want to sacrifice somebody because it's an interesting thing to do in the plot line. I would make sure that everybody was okay with being sacrificed. Nobody's going to be okay with being sacrificed. But at the same time, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen Remember, if I just refuse and tell you're going to pay the price for I sacrificing know. someone. So it's either we lose two characters or... Hey, you're not going to lose your character. Your character is just going to pay for it. Oh yeah, I believe it. My character's probably roll you roll the You roll up to the fucking altar first like fucking Billy Badass. <laughs> hey, can I roll the stab here? No, the honestly, it's, no. it's kind of great that he yeah, has to kill him. it was James, no. James would be like, I'm, I'm just going to But it's not going to do you any good. I have Garrett to has to be the one to kill someone on the altar. So you if can't you try to be, stab him in the back, then I'll grab him. on the dice, you roll. have to be on the altar. Yourself. Did you roll Keats? Oh god. Did you, roll did you really roll? <laughs> I did for my own amusement to see what would happen. You rolled James. Ah, oh, fuck. Your only healer? James. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wait, I, I haven't chosen. That's why I did it like this. Damn, now you get to choose what's up with people's lives? 
Hey, you didn't even know the deal. You were let the dice decide. I'm just contemplating my decision. Same. Hey, I have 31. You rolled another four! <laughs> I just set it down. Do you want your character to die? Apparently. I like my character. Do you want to die? Hey, hey, hey. Let me, I, hold on. I find this funny, right? Because the one person who wanted their character to die actually doesn't want to kill his character. Look at these stats. I can't argue the stats. You gotta leave me alive. Hey, look at these stats. Plus, I'm a healer. And a tank. Yeah, we already know. Oh, and if you kill yourself, don't think that that character is getting away unscathed. Me? Your soul oh, is yeah. going to be fucked. Oh, yeah. No, I realize that. Completely. Not just by the book, but by me. Oh, I completely realize that if my character dies, it's dying. Like, it's done. No, it, the torment will just be the game for the character. I may make you roleplay your fucking soul. <laughs> Tormented for eternity. We, you may create a new character... And then later on, you run into your own character <laughs> soul. I get haunted by my own character. This person I never met is haunting me. Maybe his old soul is haunting the crew for for making the decision to kill or allowing one of their members to die. What if we all unanimously decide no? Suicide pact? <laughs> um, okay, the only one I have not rolled is Keats. I keep rolling threes and ones. I, I, this is, I, this is a fucking social experiment, right? Yeah. Because you are all gathered around the altar trying to decide who is going to die. There is a second option that you defy, but there's consequences for defying. Let's just define. Let's What's... not, because Sacred Flame went through them and did nothing. At the same time, we've been The chanting fucked. gets louder. We've been fucked by everything in this house. So the only somebody. reason we are alive is the hand. But now gone. you're a man up. You're a man up who's a straight up fighter. That is true. Make a decision. And when it comes down to it, you have to make the biggest decision. Either defy and say, no, I'm not going to kill one of my, my team members. Or you decide in your mind that you're going to kill one, and then you have to go about deciding who dies. How long are we going to have this campaign going? We're gonna, we're gonna follow this campaign. We're gonna finish it. Right? We haven't even started the game. I know. Game. We're in the prelude. I know, but that's what I'm asking. Yeah, we're, we're gonna start the game. I now. wish I wish somebody was watching this because this is interesting to me. The whole decision of should someone die, shouldn't they die, and if they're not gonna, and if they are gonna die, who's it gonna be? You guys remember part number seven? I need to capture that. This, who's this, gonna die? Is that the way? Call her and ask. <laughs> James. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what time did uh, Zach say he was going off work? Uh, call him to see. Uh, if you want him to show up so you can kill his character? <laughs> what a dick move, dude. Hey, hey Star, can wait. You here? I can temporarily bring back to you what happens. No, it's got to be a real character. And he hasn't been introduced. Where are you going to kill All you have at your disposal are the people in this room. The I demons. Said, I set the bone knife on the, the altar. altar. I, I tell them no. Okay, that's what I'm doing. You made the decision. You know what? Fucking balls, bro. Fucking balls. Now you made a fucking call. Yeah, it only took half the hour for you to make that decision. I want. I wanted to say. I can tell you now. Nobody said. They wouldn't have let you leave without making that decision. Oh, I figured as much. I wanted to sacrifice. The, the fucking so gate y'all lifted up. Yeah, that shit would have fucking slammed shut. What if one of us had walked out the gate to try to find something to sacrifice? Would it have shut then? Yes. Anybody tried to leave, it would have shut. So, so you were made your decision. Well, the moment he climbed up onto that altar, the moment y'all accepted the invitation of Strouds, your fates were intertwined. Yes. yes. Understand that. Yes. We can now do the Avenger pose. But we're all standing back to back. And the camera my, hands around. My my question is, now that I've made my decision, what would happen if I would have sacrificed somebody? That's still not off the table yet. That is true. That is not 100% off the table. Actually, you made the decision. Yeah. That is off the table. Exactly. So what would have happened? What would have happened? I guess we'll never know. No, please tell me. Because then I'm changing and I'm going to kill somebody. 
Well, y'all are still on the dice, so the, the choice is still there, actually. Right? We haven't rolled for anything. All right. You made the decision. You said no. You want to sacrifice somebody? I mean, it has to be you. He's, he's the you last to... person that can leave the dice without making a decision. Everybody else can step off the dice. Uh, it's up to him. I mean, it's the same as the rest of us. Did you ever think that stepping up there would actually trigger this chain of events? I had a bit. I had something in the back of my mind that it would it would trigger something, but I wasn't thinking this. I was thinking some monster. Did you think the weight of the world be placed on your shoulders no. at the end of Death House? No, I did not. No, it saves the rest of us. One must die. Because you have, yeah, you have to understand. Whatever choice you make is gonna affect everyone. I know. Sacrifice somebody. Fuck it. Kill me. Sacrifice somebody. I won't live. I just joined. Sacrifice somebody. Hug no. Anybody. Just it doesn't matter. Who you just, <laughs> sacrifice somebody or fight it out. No. See. Okay. No. You go ahead and ask. Because you know what? It shouldn't be anybody's decision. We're yours. all willing to sacrifice somebody, but we're not willing to sacrifice ourselves. True. Let's go with that. Mike kind of is, which is kind I, of stupid I because you've been the heavy hitter pretty much the whole day. Mm -hmm. One must die. They're still chanting. I can hear it. <laughs> you're, kind of, you're kind of taking the the horror aspect out of this game. Yes, you are. I wish I could have the palm of this. God, there's a whole bunch of sacrifices and palm music. No, just the chant. Uh, one must die really loud. Ah, fuck. I want to sacrifice somebody. I really do. It's Dude. sacrifice Dude, you're a fucking shitbag. I am. My opinion. I am. I like how you're and still smoking. Pretty cool. One must <laughs> Make a decision. Make a decision. Ultimately, it is your decision. I know. But then you have to convince the person that they have to die. And that person may not want to die. It may kill you not to die. <laughs> Last roll. Dear God! Last, <laughs> last fucking roll. Make a fucking decision. Be a fucking man, grab your nuts, make a fucking decision. You define? Are you stepping off the dais? Or are you fucking stepped off the dais? There. Decision has been made. I give you props. You really wanted you to sacrifice somebody. <laughs> I wanted to so bad. I give you fucking props. Thank you. Not what would have Because you just made things so much more difficult. So much more difficult. I knew I should sacrifice someone. I literally offered my myself. I'm telling you. As the character leaves the dais, the chant changes. Lorgoth the Decayer, we awaken thee. Lorgoth the Decayer, we awaken thee. Holy fuck. Wait to get forward. Chaos, whatever. Sacrifice him. Lorgoth? Lorgoth. I don't think we're going to show up there. As they begin this chant, guys, keep me up. It rouses the sh shambling mound and prompts it to attack. So this thing? Yes. What? <laughs> Get back up on the dais. <laughs> Too late. Put your character fucking back where he was, man. Oh no, I just shout that. Oh. You walked off the days. Oh, they took still that active. I just wanted to back up on. They took with that Thunder. as a fuck you. <laughs> Should have fucking sacrificed y'all that. Hey Keats, welcome to the game. Man. Hello. Should have killed hey, you. Hey, hey. Don't let your first roll be a natural one. Yeah, please don't. Okay. What was that? I need a large character. Uh, <laughs> get the fat guy. Oh it's a shambling mound. I should have fucking killed y'all. Should have killed one of y'all. I hate myself now. Don't hate yourself. Because it's just a mound, I'm just stupid to face. Um, shambling mound awakens. It's Logarth, or Lorgoth, the decayer. <laughs> As he awakens, with Shit just got real. the chant changes again. The end comes, death be praised. Okay. Superhero. 
write help Keats as we go, as we go along. Uh, <laughs> Keats, do you know any magic? Say that because yeah, no, no, I understand why you say that. Do you know any magic? Pull up. No, he does not. Okay. Do you have any special skills or abilities? Yes, he does. Yes. Everyone, roll initiative. Roll initiatives. Which one are you? D20? You use D20 and then you add, you add, you add Roll high. Three, two, five. I got a 10. 17. Look at you here. Mike. 17. 20. 20. Gary. 15. James. 10. Keats. 17. 17. First up. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Know that a nickname for Shambling Mounds are the all-consuming devourers. Just put that in your mind. Sure sacrifice. <laughs> also, they're called the Unseen Hunters. Are you saying this in-game? Yes, I'm saying this in-game too. Question, out of game. Can we still go up there and kill one of us <laughs> and then it brings everything? Negative. By stepping off the dice, the decision has been made. Oh we my have God. gone against their wishes. Can, can we just God rewind time? <laughs> no. what, what would have happened had he, not, had he sacrificed? Yeah, us? tell us. Please, please, no. please, please. Please tell us as we all get murdered inside yes. Murder House. No. Please. Death House. Yes. Murder House was uh, uh, American Horror Story. Okay. I'm going to hit him with um, my blast. You're going to attempt to hit him. With your blast. No. Hold on. Elder. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of blast is that? Can I hear about that blast? Dude, this thing has a good fucking stealth. <laughs> oh, with that one. Okay. What one? Circle of mortality. Yeah. Is that as long as I can cast a healing spell, I can do that, or can I only use that one? Do you store maximum HP instead of rolling the dice from healing spells to create to a creature with zero HP? You learn to spare the dying cantrip to cast a bonus action that has a range of 30. We'll have to double check. God. Because I don't know if that means. What's the name of it? Circle of Aura. Mortality. I'm no longer contemplating shit. I'm just going with my first gut instinct. Do you know the grave domain? Yeah, like I was going to from the beginning and talk on the villains die. Double check that. Is that Unearth Arcana? No, that's uh, Xanthus. Sure, because two things right here are saying Unearth Arcana. Uh, we have Xanthus on D&D Beyond. Well, I'm showing it right here. Um, at first level, you gain the ability to manipulate the line between life and death. When you would normally roll one or more dice to restore hit points with the spell to a creature at zero hit points, you instead use the highest number possible for each die. Uh, okay. It's not an automatic. Uh, you just roll. Uh, like, I have to roll to make sure it's successful. You, yeah, you instead use the highest number possible. So if you're rolling two die, take the combined total, and that's the total. Okay. Um, so I think healing at first level is like 2d4 plus something. It would depend on what you cast. Healing word at first level, 1d4 plus spell casting. So it's 2d4, so you, you do 8 plus whatever. Are you ready, Micah? All right, guys. Dude, Dude, I've been ready. I have been, I have been hoping you would defy one because it's Bash the defy things telling you what to do. But two, because this is gonna be a fucking fight. Please, I'm gonna attack you with mine. Just to satisfy me. You're going to attempt. Okay. Attempt. You have to roll. Yes, I. Oh, where is the fourteen? Okay. You sure, that's what you want to cast. Yes. Okay. You're gonna hit. Alright, I need uh 
two more d8s. Um, you cast Mind Spike, and as it hits, Shambling Mount doesn't look very effective. Oh, oh god, this is going to be resistant to magic. Next up. Yeah, it is going to be Keats! Right. Wait, Time what? to fucking shine. What's this character's name? Is Gimby. fucking Gimby Truffle Snouts. <laughs> Your God. <laughs> you're you're faint, I'm a faint, but I'm Okay, it's better than Lucius Poundus. Lucius Poundus. It makes me feel that my first attempt is to be my literus. What do you have? Like, what's okay. your... He's got all kinds of shit, dude. He's a fighter. Come on, fighter. Let's fight. Don't forget, you get one use of action surge also, which gives you an extra action, but then you only have the one. You want to keep that to see how things go. So you have a lance that's armed. Yep, and you can hit up to 10 feet away. He's not 10 feet away. Oh, I can hide? We can all hide. You can all hide. <laughs> it's not going to end so well. How far is being consumed today? Hmm? I don't know how far is being consumed today. Not really. Dude, go look at the recycling bin. Uh, There's also a lot of Dr. Pepper in there. Yeah. Not really. Alright. You drank more in like a four hour period last week. That, uh, I, think we're to talk about I that. did drink about that much of the other. Okay. Uh, where's your character? How close am I? I'm right here. You have to move, if you're going to attack with your lance at range, you have to move 15 feet. How far away am I? Each square is 5 feet. Okay. Uh, let's see the other person. No, and move means to take up an action, so I can't use an action. No, there's a movement and an action. I'm going to move a little bit forward from 10 feet. You're going to move 5 feet. Right there. 5 feet forward to keep a 10 foot distance away, and you're going to take the attack with your lance. Yes. Okay? So roll to hit. Roll to hit. Take a d20. Roll it. What is it? Add whatever you're hitting. Plus 10. Plus 5. To hit with the lance. So that's 10. It's going to equal 10. I'm going to miss. You're going to miss. Have Next up, my soul, Ruben, the one who made the decision. Ruben, Ruben, Ruben. Fucking with the maxi rifle. Right. Well, he doesn't know what to do because that stupid hater is on his the pillow he wants to be on. What's up, Ruben? Almost like Griff, come here. No, come here, dude. Griff, I'm gonna tell y'all now. Don't get fucking hit. What about me? So what you you're saying is y'all. we're about to join the murder house. Is what you're saying? I'm saying don't get fucking hit. It's dead house. No, I know it's dead house. We're we're on American Soul Horror Stories. Stories. Murder house. Yes. Anything else? <laughs> That's what murder house was. Guys, I just want to point out, once again, Micah made some bomb ass cheese, mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. That shit's still over there. Sneak I think they're still part of the state. Right. Yes. Unless. What? Uh, you don't need advantage on the attack roll if. Another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. So if that enemy isn't capacitated, incapacitated. Right. Then you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. So, so he'd have to be within five feet of it. Understand that these. Is, that is five feet. I don't think dude, these don't count. He'd have to be right there. The apparitions? Yeah. No. Okay. He'd have to be right there. No. But he's not close enough. There's a square in between. Yeah, so there's a five foot square because keeping his distance is smart. Dude, I stepped like right Especially on against this day. What's the name then? Is he a construct? No. 
He is technically considered a large plant, technically. Fire or wood? Okay. Uh, shouldn't it that swashbuckler thing? What is that? That, that was your archetype that you chose. That was your focus archetype. That's what gave you the ability for your sneak attack to perform better than what it is. On top of uh, right and right? audacity. Okay. I guess. Back up. Yeah. You're going to leave, leave me to die? Going back up. Damn, the fighter was like, aya! And the rogue's like, fuck this shit! <laughs> I'm backing up, yelling, I should have killed one of you motherfuckers. Hey, Garrett. It's too late. late. Huh? It is far too late chat. for that. Yeah. Although I openly volunteered for it, I would like to go on record with that. That's your move? Yeah. Okay, that's your turn. Next up. It's a shambling out. James? Log Ross. It's going to move five feet forward. Okay. He's going to attack you. Okay. What's your AC? 19. 19. Jeez. You're so new, dude. Plus, Plus two proficiency? I love that. No, yeah. it's already calculated. Fuck. Hey, please go. Uh, Just so you know, he has a plus seven to hit. Oh, my God. Roll out. Roll out. He's going to come with a slam. Roll a three. Roll a three. That one's gonna hit. Oh. Wait, wait. So he has a plus seven on his to hit. Holy fuck. Oh. Literally, all he needs to roll is a thirteen. Yeah. And he's gonna hit you four. I'm about to get fucked. Not too bad. How, how much far? Seven damage. Okay. You can hit the minus. Yeah, you can just. Hit. But. There you go. 24. But he has multi attack. Oh, fuck. We're not going to attack you with another slam. We're not making it out of here, guys. He's going to hit you again. How much? Not a whole lot. 10 damage. <laughs> oh! I have 14 health. You were Bad. attacked twice by the slam. And because of that, you are now engulfed inside of the shambling mound. What? So he's out of the picture now. So the way this works is that you are now technically grappled by it. You're you are, you've been absorbed into it. What does this mean? Do I, do I take You're, damage the time? No, no, So no. that means that uh, while you are engulfed, you are blinded, restrained, and unable to breathe. I can hold uh, And on your next turn, you must succeed a, on a constitution save, which is... Fucking high. Or at the start of each of the mouse turns, you're gonna take an additional two d eight plus four. What happens if we all die? We all die. Uh, so if the mountain moves, roll, your character moves you with it. Constitution. You said it has to be high for this constitution save. Yeah, it's gonna be have to be a high roll. Holy shit, you only have fifteen or twenty. Um, by the way, uh, you can die from lack of oxygen within. But here's the good news. If you don't escape the mound by the next turn or the turn after, um, chances are you're going to just be crushed to death from the insides. Because if you, every turn, every shambling mound turn that you haven't escaped, you're going to take 2d8 plus 4. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> Can I do my second win now? It's not your turn. So. so so we so need to have that. You're fine. The character being yeah. the character, he's out of play. Uh, until he can make, unless he can break the grapple on his turns, he's out of play. So he literally fine. came in to get fucked. But you, whenever he gets hey, back to you, he wasn't scared to jump in. I uh, no. damage. I told you there was consequences. This is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. I literally told you you I could know. murder me. I should have listened. 
but I give you props for not being a bitch. And fucking defying. Uh, so next up is Asrick and Pillage. Uh, thanks for the props. That not, not that. So we can get Asrick and Pillage. Yes, because this I was looking forward to this fight. Uh, next up is James. going to be James. Yeah. By the way, uh, don't come back later and say, "Oh, there's some bullshit extra way you could get out of this." There was another way you could have gotten in here. Yeah, into here. Yeah. That means that get out. out. Then. Right? If there's a way well, in, right you would have had to go through. This is what I'm through. thinking. This is. You can still get out. There is an opening currently. You know, currently. Yeah. The second week you can't. Because you're, when y'all were in the prison, there was another way in. I knew it. Afford, afforded you a way out. I knew it. But you didn't search the walls. Uh, I would like to attempt to cast Sacred Flame. Okay. We're going to attempt to cast Sacred Flame. You need to make a deck save of 11. Okay, you gotta remind me. Sorry. A deck save of 11? Yeah. You're gonna miss. Okay. Uh, next up is, uh, Mike, or Lucius Poundius. Mm. Yes. Yes. Uh, like, that was the stupidest name, and then Keith showed up. <laughs> so, I'm going to hit you with hellish rebuke. You're going to attempt to hit me with what? Hellish rebuke. It won't work. I haven't hit you. Yet, you haven't? I haven't hit you. It's a, it's you a have to hit. It's a reaction. Yeah, they have to hit before you can use it. It's a reaction. Eldritch Blast. You're going to attempt to Eldritch Blast the Shambling Mound of Hell. Yeah. Okay. Is he damaged me when he, when he does shit like this? Okay. No, we, we told you this already. Nineteen. It's gonna hit. Just pickle or hit. It hits. It hits. It's seven. Seven damage? That was a tickle. <laughs> Gria, leave Larry alone. Um, you fire your Eldritch Blast. He takes off a small piece of it. A small piece. And he is... He is the all-consuming devourer. Mm. Next up. <laughs> oh, Keats. Okay, so you get to make a, roll a one. constitution save to break free. Uh, hold on. Double check. It's actually a strength check. Strength? Oh, so you just plus three on it. So, I just rolled this. Yeah. Yes. Roll five. Not funny. God! Oh, fuck! <laughs> a six. Uh, you fail. You're still engulfed. Moving on. How much damage uh, do I think? None. Oh. Right now. Not right now, it's not my turn. If they somehow miraculously kill this creature by the time it gets to me, so Ruben is basically going to have to do a fuck ton of damage <laughs> in this one hit. I believe in you. Come on, Ruben, you're a fucking cat. Claw its eyes out. <laughs> it's a fucking tree, of course it does. It's a big that. bush of trash. <laughs> yeah, I like a big bush. So, on the next turn, uh, you are going to take damage. Just be aware of that. Because you failed your grapple. Oh, God. But just because your hit points reach zero does that not mean you're dead. dead. It's the end. If my hit points reach zero, will it so, take me out? Do I still have to roll no, and try so to get my This, is, this, corpse out. this is what happens, right? When you get to zero, you will find out. out. You become unconscious. Yeah. <coughs> when you get to the negatives. All right, well, Ruben. It's a backseat fucking road. What you gonna do? You gonna run away again? Or are you gonna go in like a fucking champ because you're the one that kick started this fucking fuck fest? You fucked me. <laughs> I fucked everybody. Yo, I'm screaming so far inside the shambling core. I'm screaming so far. You, I'm like the only person who's done more damage. Teamwork is a beautiful thing. You're looking at my mouth, mouthing the words. Yeah. You fuck. Right. Now y'all are back down to three people. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no way I'm gonna do enough damage. I'm bent over in the shambling horn. Damage, but no damage. Yes. 
So I can. So go far, in. I'm the only person who's done any damage. Right? I no. can go in, do damage to damage. Did he? Yeah. Oh. He's jumped in and attacked. Okay. I can go in, I can do damage, and then be stuck there, and he'll consume me next. So. Well, what what yeah, would have been awesome is that if you hadn't run away. Uh, maybe he would have attacked you instead, instead of Keats. And uh, maybe Keat, maybe you wouldn't have been engulfed. Yeah, now you'd be you would have stacked twice. If it stacked twice, I got engulfed. My asshole is right here, pointing towards you. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Saying you just stating the, me. the obviousness here. James, are you tired now? No, I'm good. Yeah, just keep Usually people take me out to dinner for it. Really? I killed that rip it though. Dude. It's only midnight. I know. That feels so good. I'm gonna sit still. You're not gonna do nothing. You're not doing anything? Well, I can run in and probably get consumed and then run down to me. How many people are you sit here and wait till you get He's oh, all sir, consuming. Oh, yeah. So everybody. The and then I, can do <laughs> I keep forgetting the day. Everybody! I'll just sit there. You're just gonna sit there? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I don't have any range or anything that I can do right this second, so. I don't think range is really gonna really make a difference no. at this point. No. As big as he is? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Keats, you're gonna take damage. So don't I roll on his yeah. turn too to get take take? No, it's only on your turn. Yeah, your oh, turn is to okay. escape. His turn is to damage done too. Because you're inside of being literally crushed. Okay. How much damage? Okay. Um, we're about, about to find, about to find out. out. One damage, two damage. <laughs> we're like thirteen damage. I'm in oh one my health. Health. <laughs> I'm in one health. Oh my god, mother of Christ, I love it. Can I've done 14 damage. Can I do second win now? It's not your It turn. has to come back your way. And you're incapacitated. You Grit. can't do anything oh. besides try to struggle free. Great. So this is Go it. Ahead. You're just stuck in there, right? No, he's going to move. We'll be on the couch. What about five? Can we move okay. the chanters and start it's still there? Yeah, we'll just move the chanters out of the way a little bit. And since he knows that you were the one, He's gonna attempt to attack you. Well, he's at like a disadvantage. What's your? Uh, he is a disadvantage. He's a large. He's a large creature. He's huge. Right. But he's rolling just regular. Plus seven to hit. Plus seven to hit. Fifteen. <laughs> he misses. Oh attack. shit! <laughs> of course, there's a second attack. That one's gonna hit. Same. Yeah, but I'm not consumed. Engulfed. Engulfed, sorry. Engulfed. He hasn't been eaten. Yeah. He's been being crushed to death. <laughs> uh, next up is going to be your savior. I'm going to cast guiding, attempt to cast guiding bolt. Okay. Okay. Just roll 19 with this one. Roll high. Roll fucking high. Two. Oh my god. He rolls a two. Not five. You miss. Yep. If you ever need to roll high, now is that yeah. time. I just rolled a 17 now. Alright, that brings us to Lucius. I'm going to attempt to cast Cause Fear. Okay. You got to roll a uh, Wisdom of Fortune. That's one. I did nothing to you. <laughs> I went to yell, and I forgot the spell to yell. <laughs> no, you yelled it, but it doesn't really have ears. That's the best way to look at it. So next up, Keats, you oh, have to make this happen. This. Strength check. Ten. Plus. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why could Oh, god damn it. The DC is fourteen! <laughs> All you had to do was match fourteen! So here you no. are sexually aroused without murdering all of us. 
I want a new fucking dice. Because I didn't expect no, people to mine. run. I didn't expect Keats to just get engulfed. Where's that dice box? I'm getting a new, I'm getting no, a new 20 here. here. Here's like 300. There's another here. almost Sneak attack. He's at disadvantage, so I can use that now. So, so you're gonna roll your regular attack, it's just when you do damage, you add 2d6 to the damage. Okay. You don't, I still have to roll damage, though, right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not an automatic fucking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why? 16! 16 plus 6, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I've now rolled double, right? 2d6s. No, you just roll your regular yeah, damage two, with your weapon, two plus d6. 2 more d6. Oh, plus 2 more. Okay. And then add your bonus. Eight, nine. Your bonus four. Four. So thirteen damage. Okay. Thirteen damage. You sneak attack this creature. You do thirteen damage to it. That motherfucker is looming, and now he's pissed. And it's some damage. Can you pop? Can you pop? You me barely out? made a dent in it. <sighs> so now he's gonna roll. Now Jesus' yeah. fate has decided. I'm good. Yeah, I hope you roll. A no, no. You'll just it's just straight damage. Yeah. You're, you're going unconscious. I hope you roll a zero. You don't have a choice. You're at one HP. There is no surviving this. You're going yeah. unconscious. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're dead. Yeah. So you're at negative. Just put it on zero. Because you're not dead, dead. So you're at negative 12. And then 13 damage. That's fine. So Here's the problem. You're still inside of it. It's just gonna, it's still going to keep crushing me. Yeah. yeah. And it will when it comes, do I still get to roll to yeah. get out? No. Yeah, I really wish y'all were No, now what you're doing is you're rolling to save. Pull him out. Anything 11 higher is a save. Okay. Anything 10 or lower is a fail. You you're about to knock him out, probably, dead. but I got three saved. You're laying on Everything's on fire. This is fine. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> this is All right. Okay. And then do something. But are you not going to attack him? Oh, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, we got to be fair. <laughs> no. He's going to attempt to hit you. As, as much as he has held our hands to this. Who's he hitting? Me? Yes. Yeah, fucking figure. What's your answer? 15. 15. He has one HP. Yes. Ooh, Ooh, you matched it. You miss it. Oh, miss again. Miss again. Second attack. Miss again. One. One. That one. He's definitely going to hit you. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm, done. I'm down on the ground. But you're not in gold. Yeah. He has to hit you with both attacks. No. Well, that's good, but I'm still down. You were down for 12. <laughs> one more hit point. I'm dead, dead. Uh, James. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead. Damn, I almost missed an attack. Cast Spare the Dying on Garrick. That's my bonus action. I'm gonna cast Spare the Dying on Keats. Okay. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Still in He's in gold. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't He's have inside. side. All I gotta do is be within 30 feet of him. Okay, he's inside a creature. Right. He took it doesn't say it doesn't work, though. Don't just it's just attack or something. Oh my I don't God. think it's gonna work. Are you about to Google search so this? So does that give me full health or just one HP? One HP. Yeah, it just says it has to be within thirty feet. Well, I'm back up. I need that lighter again. I'm trying to think outside the box here, James. No, I think. I feel like this may all, all that has to happen is he has to hit me alive with one hit point enough for me to get to my current roll and escape. Yeah, that was that's been my plan this like the entire time. I just never was, was able to was just to keep casting Spirit of the Dying so to succeed. Damn, this isn't good numbers. Keep that one. You know what? Stop rolling. I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna allow it. Y'all need all the fucking help. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. So right, now, one hit point. So now you're, you're at one hit point. One. You're still suffocating. Apply. Okay. Not yet. I'll, I'll, I'll reach my turn before I take damage again. But yeah. you're still suffocating. Yes. Yeah. 
Help. And eventually, after being inside for so many turns, you're going to die. Die, die. And I won't be able to save you. Yes, because he cannot revive at this point in the game. I can only blur the lines so much. That's what you want to do. So I have actually but have it's to actually, It's actually very argued about that. So if Is it really? Yeah. It's, it's a Lucius turn. Lucius! Maybe Lucius is the coast to the damage. I'm sure they have at some point. But some of the stuff that they've done is buried so deep. I'm going to attempt to cast Elder's Blast on you. <gasps> Why did you try to pull it? <coughs> That's 11. Miss. Is that your turn? Is that your turn? Yeah. Did you still have a movement? <laughs> Run away. Attack of opportunity, so, though. And uh, you didn't roll with advantage. Um, yeah, oh. I realized that after I rolled the uh, Keats. You got this. I got this. DC of don't, 14. Don't. Keats, what? Like 14. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's because you fucking licked it. <laughs> then you waited it. Oh my god. Oh, it actually does something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to waste bonus action. Right. Right. So it's you 10. totally can Go watch Don't that. escape. It's 13, it's 11. He's at what, one hit point? Yeah. One so if he's crushed for more than his max. <laughs> yep. Well, you're dead. What's your like max? dead, dead, dead? Yes. Like, yes. I thought they like the whole, like, the three saying. No, if you go negative your max hit points, that's you are dead, 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 dead. Yeah. So you are you have one, you have 31 is your hit points, right? So if you yeah. go to negative 31, you're dead. Dead, dead. Oh, so I'm, I'm at one hit point right now. Yes. yes. So yes. as long as I don't go, I can go negative 12 as long as I don't go to negative 31. Yes. Okay. You if you negative hit 30. negative 31, there is no revival of your character from from a normal standpoint. Okay. You would have to have a spell. A wish spell. No. There's a revivication. There's uh, raise, un, or raise dead spells. There's spells to bring you back. Nobody in this group has those spells. So don't go negative 31. Yes. Just keep reviving me and I'll keep rolling. <laughs> oh my God. I heard it. I'm not going to allow you to shove a potion of healing inside the No, fuck him! Yeah. For me! <laughs> For me! But you never passed him out. You yeah, 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 I did. I gave him one. I gave him one. I kept him. Yes. It's a, because it's, I took it's it's currently in my 2d4 inventory. plus 2. This is something. Okay. That could be 10 hit points. Um, That's a lot to Gary. Yeah. It's almost uh, everything. Yeah, Keats didn't make it out. Um, you're inside gasping for air. That brings up fucking the Tabaxi. Do I? Decisions, decisions. Is healing is my action, so I can't. Yes, yeah, healing is your action. I don't have a bonus action thing yet. Do I? God, if only. You have one action. James, just per keep reminding me. I'll keep rolling. I'll escape. Unless something specifically no. states that it's a bonus action. Statistically, that's an attack that he's wasting. No, I, I can do it as a bonus action. Statistically, I'll escape. Yeah, I don't like. It just it, it, It's how I was able to bring both of them back. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack again. Okay. Since I'm you're going to attempt to attack. Attempt to attack with advantage. I'm a sneak attack. You don't have to say you sneak attack. Okay. Well, sneak attack is one of those things that if, if you have advantage, it's, just it's an automatic thing. Okay. You just add two d six with your damage. Okay. And why do you keep rolling it into the monster? I just dropped it. I'm sorry. Fourteen plus. Uh, six. So, okay. sweet. Now, believe me, I want y'all to win this. I want it to be challenging, but I want y'all to win. I gain nothing from y'all dying. Six, seven, eight, nine, Joy. ten, eight. plus four, fourteen. See, you were bitching about your character for so long. So long. And it, what, what, what wasn't he using? Sneak attack. Thank you. Fourteen damage. Guys, we need to get some critical hits. I mean, I would, yeah, I would critical hit all the time. There's so many You see this? Um, he's looking a little worse for wear. Oh! Counts as. Keats, either uh, yeah. just gonna take the damage. <laughs> Go ahead, put yourself on zero. Don't even fight it. We gotta decide which one. You're gonna You're take gonna 12 damage. So that puts me at what? That'll put you at negative 11. Yes. 
Oh, oh God. So now what you're doing is you're going to just have to remember what you're right. tracing it for. Fifteen. So now what you're doing is every time you roll, it's going to miss. Oh, Second attack. Roll. It's a fail. He's definitely going to be higher. Oh. I don't care. He, he missed me once. You don't come to that. Oh, I mean. Ooh. Sixteen damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I did not have that one hit point. He would be dead then. I'm at negative 15. That's twice now. Yes. Can you revive both of us real quick? Nah. We're gonna need it so badly. See, okay. here's the problem with having a caster and having to continually cast. He can't attack. Yeah. He has to, that's all he can do is heal. So and then, because he's unconscious, when his turn comes around, he has to stand up yeah. and then attack. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do... <laughs> Is I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to attack with the short sword. Okay. Can, can you just hold on for a okay. second? Not everything has to be about you. Okay. I was just saying I'm dealing a lot of damage. I'm gonna deal a lot of damage. <laughs> for five damage. And circle morality bonus action. Spread it down on here. One hit point. You're, You're still pro. still pro. Right I had to make a choice. That's fine. That's fine. You will literally so run out of So I can stand up and tap uh, on your next turn. Yeah. Uh, that brings up Lucius. I'm going to go heal quick. Go for it. You, you sure the healer wants to go away? Are you sure the healer wants to go? I don't have any reaction ones. I know, but are you sure the healer wants to just... Hurry up and just pee on right. go, dude. Attempt to attack with the other spot. So that's your attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your Elder Glass. Oh my god. It's ineffective. It's a big pile of trash. <laughs> It absorbs the smell and gives it another hit point. You are now all poisoned. No, there are probably be no hands of God on that. Damage. Backfiring. I know it is. Dude, y'all are fucking mongrels. Eight. Great. You take eight damage. Your arm is singed. <laughs> Mike rolled a natural one. God damn it! <laughs> it was good. Like the other one would have uh, been a hit. Stop. Keats. I can't do anything, can I? Save. No, no. So this one's to do. escape. So get the oh, twenty. Yeah. He's got to do a death roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're unconscious. Oh yeah. Roll a death roll. So, so, so what? what? Save. It's a nine. Uh, nine. that's a failure. So that's Six one fail. of three. Please don't roll a natural one. What happens if I roll a natural one? You You're dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Natural one is two failures. Natural 20 is two successes. Yeah. Oh. No pressure. Um, no Ruben! It is Ruben's turn. Revive me. I stand up. Revive me. And... Fall. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be attacked. <laughs> he get an attack opportunity. Anymore. Yeah. That was your movement. Standing up. Yeah, I know. I just, be, I just want to be a dick. But uh, I attack. I attempt to attack. I attempt to attack at advantage. 20! Yeah. Oh my god! So that means. So, so take your your weapon die. Okay. One D6. Add another D6. Okay. Okay. That's your double damage. Okay. It doesn't apply to sneak attack. So you're actually going to roll 4D6 with your plus. So, so roll all together these. for add. Six. Add them all up. Hey, you're gonna get four sixes. Uh, one, one, two, two, four. So that's, so that's nine. Eight, nine. What's your plus? Four. Thirteen. 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 Yeah. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Or could have been worse. Did you spit everybody had go out at a certain health level? Because that would be useful. <laughs> I mean, if you really wanted to, you could. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah, no, I don't have anything else. Um, it's turn. How is it looking? I mean, it's worth your wear. But it's still me. 
Oh, yeah. You realize Fucking cultists were fucking praying to this thing. Yes. Yeah. It has nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime something has a nickname, it's never good for the players. Uh, James is going to attack you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Aww. What's your ace? 17. I was say, First is, attack. Iglesias is attacking me. That's good. Second Ooh. attack. With the slam! It's going to hit it. Hey, this is what they need all the time. Uh, 18 damage. Oh my god. Oh my. I'm at? still higher than, like, yes. y'all's base. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, he just has to take damage. <laughs> Before I forget. I didn't remind him that time. No, no, no. No, this is just straight damage to your yeah. body. Oh, okay, okay. so I have, a, I have an 11 right now. You're, you're, you're negative negative 28. No, I'm at no, negative, he's 11. negative 11. Yeah, he's at um, negative 11. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, it's going to continue to crush your body until either you no, die survive or. or somebody attempts to pull you out and succeeds. But somebody has to take their turn to pull you out. Yeah, that, that was an option. Yeah, we know it it's in the player's handbook. We've we've known it was an option. The only person Sorry. among us that could do it and still go. Hey, any one of y'all can roll a fourteen or higher. And that's also oh, that's, that's, action that's all an attack. It's strength, right? I said it out loud, yes. I'm just saying I'm attacking because I am next to death. Keats, and you got off easy. You're only going to take 7 damage. That puts it to 18. <clears throat> so, if I attempt to pull him out, would I have advantage? Or no? No, no because you're that. reaching into this beast. Okay. Alright. I'm going to attempt to pull him out. I believe in you, James. 14, 14 plus 2. 16. You're going to succeed. You pull, you mm. reach into this mouth. Yes! You grab whatever limb you think you have to hold on, <laughs> and you pull this corpse out. <laughs> and then, bonus action circle morality, spare the dying. Yes! Oh, oh, what the hell? Is I do second alive. wind on my next turn. You, you can do what you want, because at this point, you don't have to worry about an attack. Well, oh yeah, y'all get to go before the monster attacks. Yeah. I, I, I'm doing the second way. Just uh, do as much damage as you can. That brought us back from the break. Um, hey guys, is, just call me Scott Sterling. <laughs> Which is, it is your turn. So you might get that reference. Magic no. Blast. You're going to attempt Eldritch Blast again. Now yes. you just blew your own arm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Fuck yeah. 20 or 15? 15. Oh, wait. 21. Why is everyone else rolling 2? Because we're, we're, we're now at advantage. If, if oh, the creature's okay. flanked. Yeah, yeah, if you have another enemy of the creature next to him, um, it's a guy. 13. 13. Alright, is second win a you bonus action? <laughs> oh, in the the unless there's something else around the corner. Oh, fuck. There's yeah. always is, something. Is second win a bonus action? Second win is. Yes, it's a bonus action. So he can take it one time between the short and long. So he could stand up, attack, and then take second win as a bonus action. Yeah. Okay. That's so you're going to stand up, yeah. you're going to attempt to hit him with your lance, and then you're going to take second win as a bonus action. You roll a natural one. Okay, you get to roll two d20s. Okay, so you still need to take. And you take no, the highest of the two. Good. But if it lands no, natural one, it, it matter. circumvents everything else besides a natural two. Hey, look at me. You're going to roll d d20. Okay, you got this. We believe in you. So you're going to roll a d20? He's rolling two. Well, I'm saying he's, he's going to roll that natural 20. Let's do this. Wait, am I in my turn? Yes. yes. Oh, 20. All eyes are on you. Four and eight. Okay. What's well, your bonus? Uh, five. So thirteen. Not good. Okay. Now okay. second win. What do I roll for second win? You don't roll anything. You're just taking second win. Do I, do I click this? Yes. Now what does second win do? Once per short rest, you need a bonus action to bring one d ten plus three. So you roll a d ten. This one right here. So this is plus three. Yes. yes. So six. You got six, six. hits. Six plus. Six. So he's up to seven. Six plus. No, he rolled a three plus. Oh, so he equals six. I now have seven hit points. 
Hey, it could mean the difference. Wait, do I get to move yet? No. 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 Standing up or is your move. And if you move away from it, it, it gets an attack of opportunity. Just we're just staying moves. where we're at. Guys, guys, guys. Can I hover out of range for like yeah. a yeah. No. attack of opportunity? Right? We're staying where we're so, at. So they have, all creatures have this five foot sphere of influence around them. Okay. So when yes. you're in, within that five feet, you're engaged with that creature. Okay. okay. This way. If you move, Outside that five foot sphere of influence, they get an attack of opportunity because you're running away. Unless you have a. Unless you have disengage. Yeah. You can take disengage, but that's your action. Yeah. And yeah. There's that, not much that allows you to get away from This all. is our Avenger moment. Hey, y'all are pulling it together, man. I'm, 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 I'm really proud of y'all. Remember what y'all need to do. Keep me up. Yeah. All right, Ruben. Okay, hi. Attack. With opportunity, short sword. Oh, thank God. Is that a 10? 10 plus 6, 16. You're gonna hit? Oh, oh, thank God. So that is uh, 3, 1d6, and then 2d6 for the sneak attack. 6, 7, plus 4. It's 11. 11. So for 11 damage. When I went to roll earlier. He's not looking so good at this point, y'all. He just shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> First attack. He's gonna attack you. Okay. Patrice. Seventeen. He's gonna hit you. That's a four. You got off easy nine points. I do gotta say this is actually perfect for this creature because it's just a black abyss. And if you get engulfed, you just sit inside. Yeah. His second attack, he's going to switch. Thank Jesus. Thank Kelmabor, whatever got I followed. I wrote it down somewhere. Are you celebrating? No. no. He already said it was switching. I said it was. He could be switching it up back to you. God damn it. Right. Have mercy on my soul. You know what happens when the healer gets engulfed, right? Yeah, everything's fucked. Yeah. But he's gonna switch it up and he's going to attack uh, Ruben. Yes! He's dead. You still have one hit point, aren't you? Yes. It's fine. If you get higher to 16, you're dead. Yeah, I know. Be okay. He's fine. It's all okay. He's burning around me. I guess I still have a different story. You did. No, you're not. Oh. Did he miss? 13 damage. Oh. How many times did you get to end up face down in the fucking dirt? Oh my god. Um, so that is going to bring up. I'm going to attempt to hit with a short sword. Uh, 22. Okay. Like I said, I don't want y'all to succeed. I don't want to make a challenge. Oh, I believe. 8 damage. 8 damage? Yeah. Bonus action. Bam. Spare the time. <laughs> How many times can you pass spare That's a cantrip. Yeah, it's constant. So a cantrip that you just keep going. You've got that. Oh my god. Here. Okay. So. And. Because I chose the grave domain, usually you have to be next to somebody to touch it. But because I chose the grave domain, it's 30 feet. Yeah. So cantrips, like these, I can keep using them. Thank God for Xanthers. These, they have limitations on them. Once I use them, I use them. So Lucius. Until you get a long rest. Lucius found us. Guys, this is the prologue. Oh, oh! You think this is it in the prologue? No, I'm, I'm sorry. This whole thing is the prologue. Okay, I thought you meant the shambling mound was the last thing in the prologue. No, I feel like the shambling mound is the prologue to the epilogue of the prequel, of the sequel. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna attack you with my hand axe. <laughs> going to attempt to attack, attack your hand axe. Add advantage. Your armor again. Add advantage. Add advantage. Wait, is he? Are you, are you out of magic? No. Okay. Nat no natural one. 
Nat 20. 6 and 17. Woo! 17 plus 2. It's going to hit. 1d6. You have any questions to that? 5. Nope. All right. 5. He's, he's looking worse. He's not looking good. Superhero landing. Keats! All right. Fucking so Gimpy. You're Gimpy. living up to your name. Gimpy. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him fucking hard. 17 plus 5. 17 plus 5. 22. That's going to hit. And I get to roll the 12 one for my damage. Yeah, 12 yes. plus 3. So. Give me a stab. Roll 12 and then add 3. 6 plus 3. three. Nine. Not high. Not oh, on that. It's pretty pretty good. up to you. I feel like if it attacks again, we're going to be fucked. <laughs> hey, uh, the sneak attack thing is oh. kind of helping. Whose turn is it? It's Ruben's turn. I stand up. Are you, are you going to be the fucking hero right here that they fucking need? I really hope so. So I think what, what happens if he rolls two nat 20s? Take one nat 20. Okay, so I attack with advantage. Nat one. What the nine fuck is wrong with I'm you? I'm going to punch you. Okay. Got a I'm going to drown your character. So 3 d 6 plus whatever. 5, 6, 3, plus 4. 14, 18. 18 damage. Five, six, three, plus four. <laughs> That's quick mass! <laughs> Technically, if you want to be honest, that would be like 560. <laughs> if we really want to count that or not, I mean. It's fucking crazy. Oh, God. Okay, can I just say, we've all been dealing some massive amounts of damage to this motherfucker. Stop It's his turn. And Great. he's oh. still alive. First attack! Oh god. 17. Crit. No. No crits, no crits, no crits, no crits. Natural ones! He's gonna hit you. Ugh. All ones, all ones, all ones, all ones! Not gonna happen. 13 damage. Fuck, I am unconscious, guys. Fuck! The second slam gonna hit you. Attempt to hit you. What was Tracy? 15. Please, no. Uh, he's gonna hit you. Ah! It's just me and you. Hey. You realize all you have to do is get hit you for 18 damage. It's good. I'm dead, dead. You're at negative 30. Wait, you're at negative. What's your max? 16. What's your max? 16. Your max health is 16. At it's level 3. His HP is 16. There's no fucking way. I'm dead. His HP is 16. There's no fucking way. Because the, the warlock's health is higher than yours. Apparently so. There's no fucking way. Something was fucked up somewhere. You are at fix negative it. 15 and then we can fix it. Okay. You are at negative 15. Hey. All you have to do, roll a natural 20 answer. No, is make a medicine check on me. What's a medicine check? So this is all a medicine check is. You're gonna roll your 20, right? Yeah. You're going to add it. That's your turn though. No, I haven't No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. She knows, she knows. You see where it says medicine? Yeah. Plus four. Oh, so I need to make a death save though. Medicine plus one. So whatever yeah, it is, it's just the plus one. Nat 20. Five. That's good. Yeah. My turn. It Wait. comes down to you, big boy! Can I attack and do an action turn to run this? No. No. Oh. You've already used your action. Or, no, I haven't used that. You haven't yeah, used your action surge. Could he? Can I do attack? a check with an action, action surge? No, it's a bonus action. I'm gonna it's, a, it's an action. So, no, I'm not going to allow Okay. I'm going to attack you with Elders Blast. Elders. Fuck the motherfuckers! I don't care! I'm going to cast Idris Elba! Does that mean you're going to throw old people at him? Uh, 19. It's going to hit. Will this be the move? Uh, that's 9, right? Yeah, that's 9. That's enough. 13! Oh! He said that was such conviction. You step, you step back, and you fire as hard as you can. 
and Lord off BDK or disintegrates. Oh! <laughs> Lord off the decayer is no longer alive. You can't see it on camera, but Mike did the gayest dance ever. Hey, 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 do a medicine check. Do a medicine yes, check. Yes, you have to make a combat. I have to make a... Yeah, it's his turn. Wait, yeah, it is his turn. He's turn. We're still in combat. Make a medicine so you check. do a medicine check on Even the, the Even the big... Yeah. Oh, and all the fucking things have disappeared. <coughs> oh, medicine check on James. You're so what is the medicine roll? check? James. He has to roll higher than a 10, right? Yes. Uh, plus right. one. 18. Oh, oh, yes! Stabilize. Okay. That's your death save. Give, give me all the little creature. I hit it. it. Yeah. I'm not up yet. I'm still prone. Yeah. He's still in like that. Dude, that's a fail. That's fine. It's my turn. I got yes. one fail. I'll stand up. Spare the die. And I am at one HP. <laughs> How the fuck did we make it through that? So, okay, I gotta say. Oh, so, up. here's my question. <laughs> How much was his... I feel like I came in clutch. What? I, I came in clutch. How much was his health? Oh, yeah, you were the one that was... How much it. HP did he have? Yes. Yes, please. No, no, how much... How much health points? I was rolling like three d6s on like every... No, no, not HP, health points. <laughs> <laughs> how much... Oh, my God. How much? Now that we are through this, two things. Please tell me what would happen if we would have sacrificed somebody. Can you fix my HP since it's wrong? Apparently, I don't know what your HP is. Or what it should be, because my HP is 16 right now, and you said that's wrong. That is, yeah, it should be wrong. Where's the other fucking monster case? Oh my god! Woo! There's two more. Guys, I'm just gonna go home and beat off. <laughs> yeah, let's just do this. Where's your pocket pussy, again? Come on, Colony Oh! I don't know how we made it through that. Oh my god. Oh. I won't tell you how much HP he had. I won't tell you what it was. You have to know the weapon. Alright. Alright, how much HP did he have? A lot. Can we get the exact number? Of upwards least? of like 40? Like 100. Because yes. I was rolling three d sixes on every attack. You were rolling what tens and twelves. Yeah, he rolled above ten almost every attack. D but to be fair, I only. Yeah, he is a dead creature. Doesn't matter. He's dead. He's alive. I mean, we went. We banished him from this plane of existence for a while, probably. <laughs> I mean, he's dead now. He was alive. Uh, Shimling mounds are just living mounds. Uh. So, so that was not the big bad guy that we had to fight. Uh, his total health, 136. Holy, Holy shit. shit. And with the other option, if we sacrifice somebody, he's not going to tell us. Not gonna tell you. We would have the to person that the made scroll. the decision made the decision. He was the only one who could make this decision. We would have to go and read the story to find out. And that's because he... He walked up to the altar. He was the first one up to the altar, so it fell on his shoulders. It, it could have been this, right? You could have walked up there first, and then you would have had been your decision. Yeah, I would have rather been really badass, because I would have killed one of y'all motherfuckers. I should have. Would it have been worth it? Not now, because then we wouldn't have the satisfaction of winning. There you go. So. Plus, she told all the fucking specters to fuck off. That is true, and... Not in those words, but you did that by... It was the symbolic Denying of them... Denying them what they want. <laughs> is that in a house that is giving you fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. We could, I could have been the cop out and taken the easy way out. What's your hit die? D8? Me? Yeah. I honestly was expecting you to try to run away. I thought about it, but there was no way I was going to get away. Um, what's that going to be under? It should be character. Uh, Click on the guy and then see. Drop a little yeah. Level, character. Yeah, you're a DA. Okay. Roll a DA. Here. Thank you. Only one. What's your con modifier? Isn't it negative one? Negative one. Jesus. 
That's why you're at 16. Yeah. Uh, that's right. That happened 20, last you're gonna time. You're going to be 20 HP. Okay. 16 for a level 3. Can you fix that? I'm um, fixing Thank you. God. That's what happened last time with our old So show. can we just take a long rest while we're in here? All of us just sleep at the very top of the altar. Because we're all paranoid and we're yeah. going to sleep with our backs. <laughs> let, let me say this. Remember when I was talking about consequences? Yeah. Um, what did you do to a spirit? How did you fuck us this time? <laughs> hey. I Coming from the guy, we oh. had to pull out yeah. of a quivering mass. I was able to... You never pull out of a quivering mass. We, What's wrong with you? We do were it. able to defeat this creature, and I didn't have to sacrifice a single one of y'all. You were over the top of my list to sacrifice. True. <laughs> so, let's not go there. But he offered, so... Okay. Um, we're going to do this fucking quick. Okay. Because in order to... Things are about to get shitty for me. Kind of weird. As you to? kill Lorgoth, the Decayer. The all consumer? Yeah. The fucking mound of destruction. The house gives an audible groan. The house? Yes. Yeah. The house is now turned against y'all. Is this the like Monster House? The house is alive. It's like, a is this like that shitty, like, early 2000s movie, Monster no, House, where it like, eats mimic. people? It's a mimic. mimic. The house is a mimic. The house is a mimic. That would be terrifying. But the house, in its own way, is alive. And it knows that you've defied the ritual. It's delicious. Yeah. So! Fuck this house. Can we leave this house? Not yet. Not we're, yet. We're surrounded by a dead fog. Well, it depends on what you want to do right now. Do you want to go ahead and start leaving? Yes, I would actually like to leave this place. We still have time to sacrifice somebody. <laughs> no, I think that's still off the table. Is it? Is it on? Is it still on the altar? So there's still an the option. altar's still there. So we could sacrifice somebody. It's too late. Oh. Yeah, that's you decide. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Alright guys, remember that secret passage we found after the first floor? Yeah. Uh, Let's get to it. But Let's get to it. Hang on. There's no hanging on. The house no, is no, turning we're against going. us. There's no, how do we know the fog is gone? We can open the door and see. I mean, we are at the bottom. There's nothing else in this room. Yep, let's go. We're uh, we're heading to the first floor. We go to the first floor. Wait. I want to take HP. I need, I need that. The closer. house is against us, okay. so we don't have a safe place to rest. Oh, I was talking about the health station. Oh. Hey, now's the time to do what you're going to yeah. do. Okay. Yeah. There I, is no, you cannot take a rest at this point. No, I'm going to use one of my health potions. I'm also going to use a health potion. I'm going to use one of my health potions as well. What do I have? You don't have nothing. <laughs> yeah. No shit. I have no. equipment. I just don't know what I have. You have nothing. You have a starter pack. Where's the box of dice? Over next to the pizza. Over here. Okay. You don't have a bag here. So, what do you roll for the... I have two, two, two four, plus two. Can I heal myself with the hammer and throw a plus two? Yeah. Two, you have... So, one. just so y'all are aware, y'all weren't one. supposed to advance to level three until you make the house. Yeah. So you. you just kept fucking up that much? Yeah. So is it 1d4 or 2d4? It's 2d4. 2d4 plus 2. Am I supposed to throw it at you? No, you don't, you don't have a potion. Okay. They didn't give me one. Uh, I got three. Did you have four? I did. I fed two and I gave them each one. So three. <laughs> Wait a buddy fuck him. I held myself. You blue for falcon me. motherfucker. I held myself for two. Okay. So is it, you said it's two um, plus three. My character slowly runs up next to uh, Garrett. There's an add two to that oh, token. Oh, I got you. Okay. Add two. So uh, I'm roll two d four. Get your total. Add two to it. That's how much you buy. I'm gonna cast uh, healing word. What's healing word do? You're about to get almost all your hit points back if he oh. rolls in. Oh, well, it's, oh yeah, it's maxed out. Yeah. So uh, it'll be. Well, You'll get five hit points back. 
I max myself out, so I don't know why, but there's three yeah. HP. Max hit points that I can hit hard. Plus your caster level. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I just want to back. I'm level yeah, one. Right. Level one. Yeah, so it's fine. Right. They have five hit points five up here. Yeah, that's oh, how yeah, much I got myself. I'm right now it's not it may not be enough. I doubt it is. I cry. Can I do a medicine check on myself? No. no. Medicine is to stay low. Also, guys, I have no spell slots left. We're a little fucked here. What does that mean? Uh, I can't. I can't spell. kill people. I can just spare the dime. Right. So if you go down, one hit point. Hey, congrats, guys. You're almost out of death house. Just a few more obstacles. And there was very little. Uh, actually, I don't think the hand of God. So yeah, uh, mine spike is gone from me. Uh, before Keith got here, yeah, earlier today. No, I just mean in not the, during this. No. Wow. Not during yes, this. it did. Because you would have died outright. One of y'all would have died outright. That because was his HP was all this yeah, yeah, my HP was so got a so, Yeah. Thank you on that. <laughs> but, hey. Like I said, one. I don't want anybody to die in the fucking prologue. Dude, once we get out of the house, all beds are probably going to be off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are going to drop like flies. Start creating extra characters. Every all the flies. This house was made for combat. When you get out, it's gonna be a mix, a heavy mix of combat and a heavier mix of fucking role playing. Yay. Like I said, there's a potential for y'all to have, I think it's like upwards of six characters right on with y'all. I thought messing with the chat. Alright. So we headed out of Death House? Yeah. On okay. the first floor. So y'all gonna cut back through. Go the port colas, yeah, back into thirty five. Y'all gonna go up to thirty, which is gonna branch off to the the four way uh, the four way hallway of safety. Mm -hmm. uh, it's where we yeah. the, the house is rumbling the entire time y'all moving. Great. We have that secret <coughs> passage that we found. Yes, that's where you're heading. Great. Okay. You know, yeah. So because y'all found that secret passage, you go up, and it actually leads you directly to the first floor. Yes. It's been and like almost floor. a month since we've gone on the first floor. And on that floor, the room that you walk into is one I don't think y'all had any problems in. Yeah, no, I don't think the first level y'all had. I wasn't here for that, but. No, I just broke down a lot of doors. Yeah. There's not very many doors on this level. <laughs> Which makes me easier to go back to it. Almost there. Fuck, oh, man. Almost there. Almost there. So this is actually the Den of Wolves, if y'all remember that. Yeah. It's the one with the oak panel hunter's den. Yeah. It has the, the stag's head that's mounted. Uh huh. <laughs> y'all are right in there. The stag's head to become all hyper Do you want to draw it? No. Okay. No. So, uh, you head up to the as you arrive in this room, okay, the house is against y'all at this time, the entire house has changed. Oh. The house is now moldy and crumbling and falling apart. Uh, the windows, which were open initially, are now boarded up. How? Magic. Possibly. Um, this room has a fireplace in it. And because there's a fireplace in it, uh, y'all are all going to start your turn in the fireplace. Or in the fireplace! In the fireplace. Uh, Y'all are starting in the, in the room with the fireplace, which is now billowing with black smoke. Great. Can we make a dash for the door? Uh, hey, look. There's probably not a door in this room. Probably not anymore. We're probably going to have to bust out the windows. No, I'm no saying. Windows. I'm saying. You, 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 you I smash doors on the way. Here. Okay. Make a rat mad. Every dash one of you need to make a. Constitution save. Uh, uh, so your constitution is plus two. Eleven. Fourteen plus two is Twelve. sixteen. Sixteen. Two sixteen. Six. The black smoke is not affecting y'all yet. Cool. There is a door that is it's one it's that uh, double door it's a single door uh, to the northeast. Mm -hmm. 
today. That door will lead you back to the main parlor area where y'all first entered that had the staircase. You remember that? Yeah. Okay. The door has not been replaced. It was a swinging scythe. So we have to go through that to get out? Y'all are going to have to go through one by one. I'm going to acrobatic through it. You don't get to choose. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to try and... You're going to try to go through it? Sure. Okay, make a dex. It's an acrobatics check. Uh, okay. 12 plus 8. Okay, you succeed to go through. I'm pretty athletic, so... Um, actually, we are going to roll initiatives. You're, you're through to the next room. So, so it's an end game. Yeah, you're going to get a, a skip turn. I am? Yeah. Okay. Because you made it through. Okay. I should have done this. Oh, mine was. Um, Mike, 11. 11. Good luck. Right. Initiative for me was yeah. great. Okay. Oh, wait. So 13. Sorry. I forgot that. Uh, room 14. Okay, so the next person that gets to attempt to go through is going to be mine. That's mine. Yeah, I'm taking that. It's not the acrobatics, right? Yes, it's, it's an acrobatics, acrobatics check. They're all mine, so. Do you not want me to survive? There's a whole thing. Do you want me to take the other one? Yes. There are other options to this. Or is it the thing? This is just the straightforward. 18. 18. Uh, you succeed. You so you jump through and get lucky and go through. Uh, next up is going to be. That's not trying to get through it. You just get to jump through. Okay. That look. Plus five to acrobatics. So. Twenty-three. You succeed. You jump through. Can I use athletics to get through? No, no it's an acrobatics job. Yeah. So I have to do an acrobatic. Okay. Yes, you have to do an acrobatic. Plus three. Twelve plus three. Fifteen. Fifteen. You can see. You make it through unscathed. We're still we're, we're still doing the uh, uh, combat phase. Yeah. Just keep it going. Okay. Uh, if y'all are beelining for the exit, correct? Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The room that you enter has a fireplace as well. This is the la uh, the staircase that spirals up. Okay. Uh, the next door is going to be ten feet to the north. Um, because you'll start in here, everyone make a constitution check. Okay? Sixteen. I can take five points of poison damage. Ooh. My eight feet? Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, the door. All doors have been replaced by these swinging blades. Uh, like I said, there's more than one way to get through these. Uh, this is the quickest and fastest way is just to fucking risk it. Let's step through. So. First person up is going to be fucking Ruben. Acrobatics? Acrobatics. Nine plus eight. Seventeen. So you succeed. Oof. Next person up is going to be Mike. Or Lucius. That plus eight is one you, you succeed. There's no question about yeah. it. You fucking you do a little hop, skip, and jump right through. Then I remind him that Lucius Poundius! That's uh, fucking huge. <laughs> fucking right. I can just see, like, uh, 12. As you attempt to jump through, the blades catch you. You're rocking a 17 inch dick. 6 damage. I'm unconscious. You're not conscious on the other side. <laughs> um, Alright, Keats. Or, what's your fucking name? 17 plus 3, yeah, 20. Makes it. 20. You make it through. 
Everybody's through. Can I drag him? I oh, I like, made it through. through. Oh. He, it's, caught, it's still combat turns. He, he hit, it hit him, but he like fell on the other side. Yeah, but I can drag you if you're still unconscious. I need to pick him. Actually, yeah, one of y'all can probably just pick him. Let's just drain. Hold on. I have like, I have 16. He's the strongest. This next room, there's no smoke. There's no furnace. You are in that, that entryway <coughs> right outside the exit. In front of you, swinging blades. Is the exit cut? doors. You can see the outside. Is there fog? Hmm? Is there fog? You can't tell yet. I mean, I can't tell because I'm unconscious, but... Can I pick him up and... Yes, you can pick him up. You're going to take disadvantage trying to get through because you're carrying a body just, through the blade. Just... Here. Mess. Pick him oh, up yeah, and just throw him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, throw him through. Actually, <laughs> there's a chart! You can attempt to. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. You're I'm the strongest, him dude. Do it, and we can get Hold on the other side. Technically, it's a push, but you're unconscious. So yeah. he's going to pick you up and attempt to throw you through. Mm -hmm. You get disadvantage on your check going through. Yeah. So um, wait, do I roll or is he But it's not your turn. Oh, okay. Whenever my turn rolls around. So wait, wait, does that count as me not being able to go through it? Ruben's turn. No, you'll still get to go through That's your action. It'll be his action. I have an action surge if we're going to attempt to dive through the door. Okay. Did you attempt to dive through the door? Acrobatics. <laughs> natural <laughs> one. Oh my roll natural one? <laughs> yes. As you go through, you stumble and the blades <laughs> catch you straight. <laughs> That's 4d10. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Twenty-five damage. You're dead. No. 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 Oh, I'm at negative. negative. You're at negative nineteen. You are, you are on the patio, unconscious, <laughs> bleeding out. On the outside. On the outside. On the yeah. Hey, all someone has to do is medicine check. Yeah. Hurt, I'm not gonna allow it through the fucking blades. It's no, he's they're in the same. A medicine check. He's no, in I'm room. in the same room as Somebody said medicine check. Yeah, I said I'm gonna all you gotta do to me is a medicine check. No, I'm gonna throw you through. No, no, no. just medicine, medicine check. Medicine yeah. check him. So, uh, the next person up is Mike. Medicine check. Medicine check. It's acrobatics, right? Are you going through the blades or are you medicine check? Medicine check him. Just, just do medicine. medicine check him. Okay, so it's he can be 17. 17. Okay, you're at 1 HP. I don't know. You're all right. I know. Next up. Alright, I'm gonna stand up. Spare the die. <laughs> You're at one HP on the ground. That's fine, I'm outside. You still have a movement. Oh no, you stood up. Yeah. yeah. I'm outside. Keith, did you, did you stand, stand up, up outside? You can attempt to oh, can you allow it. Yeah, yeah. turn, but I'm outside. I'm gonna attempt to toss his ass through. Okay. So you're going to attempt it's a you can attempt to push on, somebody through, but since you're attempting to toss... Hold on. One, he has one hit point. But he's just... Now that he's, now he's, con he's conscious now. So I have 20 feet. I got like 16 strength. Plus three. It doesn't matter. Okay. What happens I mean, when you roll that natural one? Like I did. Does, does, does that, does that well, kill both Just go through. Jay, I'm going to leave it up to you. Just so go through. You can always come back and get me. Okay. And I'm on the other side. You're going to attempt to go through the blades? Yes. Okay. Acrobatics. Five plus three. <laughs> <laughs> you try to go through. We're banned with fucking your self confidence, you get struck by a blade. 16 damage. Uh, is he on the other side? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Are you unconscious? Oh, yeah. my God. Definitely unconscious. Yes. Uh, it's okay, I'm on the other side. Four health. I can medicine. Yeah, he can medicine check you and it's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can. Got to worry about that. We're right. right now. Ruben. I stand up and attempt to medicine check him. Okay. It rolls a natural one. I stood up. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Dude. If you roll a natural one, does it kill me? No. No, no it's medicine's just actual the number. Oh. Uh, yeah, negative. 
Oh, oh. 18 minus 3. Oh, 15. You have yeah, one hit point. But and you're laying, laying, you're laying pro. Yeah. You're, you're laying on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next up is Mike. Okay. What's going on? I don't know where you are. He's on, I'm on this side, this side of this James. Okay, so you have to go through the blades? Yes, okay. nine. We're a band of fucking misfits. <laughs> yes, we are. But we're Did making it through, okay? <laughs> 18 damage. We're making it through. <laughs> we're making it through. <laughs> Are you unconscious too? No, I made it through with one hit point. <laughs> we're making it through missing limbs. All right. The next up we're, is gonna be James. We're mad dashing this shit. Are you going through the blades? Yeah. <laughs> Twenty. 20! Woo! You fucking do a cartwheel. <laughs> Is anyone still so, unconscious? You're no. so delirious. Keith is laying down, but he's not unconscious. Is everybody out? Yes. yes. Okay. Is the fog still there? Everybody is out. You know what that means? Oh, wow. The curse of Stroud can actually begin. <sighs> What's the curse of Stroud? That's the story. That's oh. the actual story. We were in the prologue to the story. We were stuck in a building for a month before we actually oh. got to it. All right. We were there. My end 